Hi guys, Redneck Wannabe here. I hope all is well with you and your family today. So, I don't know if other places have this uh, the saying, but, uh, you know, I've grown up with it down here uh, in Texas, but, you know, if you don't, if you don't like the weather, uh, wait around for about 15 minutes and it'll change. And so, I'm sure other places are the same, um, but I would just be curious to know if, you know, Minnesota or New York or wherever, um, or Australia, if the same going or if the same saying goes down there, so that's just out of curiosity because um, yesterday the high was like 44, and then today it's 75, and so it's beautiful out today. So, but anyway, um, today I was going to talk about um, I don't know how you pronounce it, whether it's Oyas or Olas. It's O L L A S, and this is it. And so the last. Uh, I think about two years ago, before, her name is Sylvia, before Sylvia allowed me to build that, um, that area for a garden out there, I had my raised beds here, but I just, you know, you just don't have enough space, or I didn't have enough space, and so I did a lot of container gardening. And the challenge that I have with container gardening is they were simple, they were easy, you could move them around and all that, but during the heat of the summer, when... Uh, you know, things just start to get dried out. If uh, you know, if, if you've got a container about this big, things start to dry out. And man, I'd have you know half inch to an inch gap all along the outside of the rim of that container. And whenever I would fill it up with water, it seemed like the water just ran to the outside edges or gaps and just went straight down. And it never. Uh, never got the dirt really saturated with water, and I don't think I really uh, gave that that the, those plants a really good drink. And I've also noticed it on the raised beds, not so much on the raised beds as as the uh, the containers, but even out there, um, there were times this summer where man, I mean, it, summer got hot and dry. Man, there was you know a good two inch gap from the edge of the container uh, uh, raised bed. To the dirt and so I know it happens out there as well so this year I'm not doing a lot of raised or container gardens just because um, you know I've been blessed not to have to because I have I have the space but I still will do uh, a, a, a couple containers because I have a, a ground cherry that I have right here by the gate into the end of the garden and I call that my vending machine because I say, you know, some offices have a vending machine where you go and you put, you know, quarter or whatever, and that's where, you know, if you if you if you if you work in a cubicle, you know, the the break area is right there, and there's your vending machine. Well, I don't live in a, or work in an office, but right there is my little I call it vending machine, and I love the ground cherry, so I'm going to have a couple right there. But this year, um, I made. Um, <laughs> it's kind of you know again I don't oyas olas I don't know my my grandmother. She would always say Arkansas and Iowa, and I would say Graham, it's Arkansas and it's Iowa. She goes, I don't know what it is, I just pronounce it the way it's spelled, so I'm just going to say it's Allah's. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, this is I, I ended up buying this one, or these, but if I remember right, you know, buck fifty, two dollars for each one, and then what I did was I just got some silicone, and I put it all around put it on and then I put another just real light uh, layer of silicone and I just sealed it all in and then on the on the bottom I put some silicone and a penny so hopefully that will work but the plan is as you've got the open in here the plan is, is I'm going to dig a hole in the container I'm going to put this down to about maybe right in here somewhere so this is sticking up so I can always pour water into it because the way I understand it is with the unglazed pottery, it weeps water out in the amount that the plants need. So if you've got multiple plants around there, they're only going to suck the water out if it needs. That's in theory. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but this is what I'm going to do. But this cost, let's just say, less than $5. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while because um, there's a, a, a little natural organic magazine. That, you know, They put out a, a, a free monthly edition, so I'll pick that up and... And there's a company that's selling these about this size, but what they've done is they've molded it in, you know, a guy's face or something like that. And they're selling them for like 35 bucks. 
And I'm like, forget that, man. I'm not going to do that. I, you know, I want to try it, but I'm not going to spend 35 bucks. And then I just got to thinking that why don't I just do this? And so this is what I'm going to use. Also, um, we, uh, and I think I've said this before in the past, but in the, uh, with the mowing company, there's a, uh, uh, property management company that we mow for. And a lot of times whenever somebody's foreclosed on or they're kicked out, um, you know, we'll have to go mow that and it's amazing the stuff that these people leave. I mean, it just kind of breaks your heart because you pull up and, you know, here's the sofa and, I mean, just all kinds of stuff you wouldn't believe it. But anyway, one of the houses a few weeks ago had a bunch of these and so I ended up picking it up and what they did, there was another one which I've got Sorry, so these two were just sitting in each other and there was some dirt or something like that and so I just picked it up and uh, so when I, uh, just the other day, I didn't realize that what they had done is for whatever reason they had this long uh, thread, all thread, that's it, all thread going through here with that other pot uh, uh, nested right in the middle of it. And that got me to thinking that, so all I did was, I, I everything's the same, I just put silicone around that washer and just uh, sealed it off. And so my thinking is, is I'm gonna nest these two together. And what I'm gonna do is just put water right between the middle or the, these you know, in the middle part here. I would think it's going to do the same thing. I don't necessarily know but I think it's going to work so um, that may be an option for you. I don't know how much those are because you know I just picked it up at, at an old house. This was a buck and a half maybe two dollars. You know that may those two pots may be 20 bucks. I have no idea. But I'm going to try that, and then I've got a couple others that I'm going to try as well. That in the uh, in the beds, I'm going to, and they're about this size. In the bed, I'm going to seal this bottom up, and I'm going to put them in just like it is, and then I'm going to fill it up with water, and then with whatever an old cookie sheet that I have laying around, I'm just going to lay it on top of it. Now, theoretically, I, I, I would think it's going to do the same thing without, you know, this would do the same as this. Um, but just, you know, put the cookie sheet or something on top of it just so the water wouldn't evaporate. So there's a couple different things I'm going to try this spring. Um, and I'll have to let you know. But uh, anyway, there you go. Allas, Oyas, you know, I don't know how you say it, but Allas. For, uh, for me. So, anyway, um, I appreciate y'all. If y'all have any other ideas, let me know. And uh, it's almost Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Y'all take care. Bye.